this is Leah Smock. She is my great great grand aunt. And she was a very intelligent girl. She was very pretty, they said. But Leah Smock's intelligence and beauty would work against her back in 1840 and eventually lead to her death at just 22 years old. Her legend is now grown into the Battletown Witch. Dolls are made to look like her. Books are written about her. Ghost stories are passed down about her. And most recently, there's a festival in her name. This is a picture of her parents. There are no existing pictures of Leah. Family members say this picture is the next best thing. The daughter of Leah's sister Elizabeth, who resembled her aunt. Leah was the oldest of three children with dark hair and dark eyes, growing up in the woods of Meade County near Battletown. It wasn't uncommon for remote areas in Kentucky at that time to depend on things like herbalism, faith healing, even superstitions as sources of aid. Inspired by those of Irish and Scottish descent, the formerly enslaved, and Native Americans, as was perhaps the case with Leah. We think because she had some Indian friends, some Native American friends, that possibly they taught her how to read signs and how to, you know, interpret what she was seeing. Signs from nature and certainly an understanding of herbs and what they could treat, sometimes called granny magic. Leah was considered very strange and so the people became afraid of her. That fear growing when story has it, Leah asked to help with a sick baby, wanting to examine the child to see what may work to cure it. She um, wanted to hold the baby to examine it and the mother said no and Leah said, you'll be sorry. Well, the baby died that night, so naturally the people, very superstitious in 1840, said that Leah had put a curse on the baby. Leah was a marked woman, and when her family went to town one day, leaving her behind to tend the smokehouse, the unthinkable happened. So we think they probably tied her up and they set the smokehouse on fire and it killed her. <clears throat> she, they, they said you could hear her screams all over the valley, but no one came to help her. No one was ever charged with her death. Soon after, Leah's mother said she had seen her ghost and talked to her daughter. Stones were then placed on her grave that still exists today to keep her there. But the sightings continued. In this rendition here, you'll see she's floating above her grave. And this was two hunters that got too close to the graveyard and they swore that they saw her floating above the grave. Leah's legend has only grown since 1840, but relatives like Shirley Brown, they say it's another story they want told. I don't believe she was a witch. I believe she was just, you know, a young girl that was very intelligent and was very misunderstood. And I wanted to tell that part of the story.